How about now? Is that better? Is that better? Come on. Come on. You can tell me. You can tell me. But that's not what we're going to talk about right now. I'm going to talk about um, some indoor football stuff that has happened over the last couple of weeks and things like that. You see, <laughs> of course, um, let's start with the National Arena League first. Um, I, I don't know about you, but I think the New York streets are dead. Um, now, you know, they played in a field that was only like 39 yards or something like that, 38 and a half. And at the Westchester County Center where uh, the Liberty also played, but now the Liberty's gone. Um, New York has not updated their site in a while. Um, so I think they're done. Um, now, um, Maine, the Maine Mammoths, the team that was in the NAL in 2018, but did not come back in 2019 because of owner issues, they're still kind of on the fence. Um, I'm I'm leaning towards no, they're not coming. Um, they were announced to come back, which I talked about, I think about a month ago or two weeks ago, rather. Um, they were rumored to come back. They have, there has been nothing on that front. But the, in the meantime, though, um, of course, you know, Carolina's still here. Jacksonville's still here. Massachusetts is still here. Um, and they're, they're still here. They came back. Um, Orlando's still here. Of course, the Columbus, Georgia Lions. And, of course, you know, those five teams, they, they did, you know, they were the foundation. And they have been the foundation of, of the league for, you know, for the, for the, for the, the year, <laughs> of course. I'm just making it up, you know. It, you know, they got a brand in Orlando back, even though it's kind of more of an in-name only type thing. They still have the established Jacksonville Sharks, you know, and the Columbus Lions. They've been here for God knows how long. Uh, but, you know, Carolina and Massachusetts are very new. They still have a lot to prove, you know. But the NAL has added two teams. Um, they are from the American Arena League, which is a dumpster fire of sorts of travel teams and teams that can't finish their seasons and stuff like that. Um, but they added the West Virginia Rough Riders, who were formerly in Richmond um, in 2017. Then they moved down to West Virginia in 2018. And owned by Greg Fernario. He's a he's an interesting guy. To, honestly, um, he you know West Virginia got the shaft in the AAL and. That, that's just as simple as I can say. They got the shaft in the AL, and, you know, things were screwy, and they, they finally got the money together to get up out of there. Um, so great for them. They're here. Um, the second team is the Jersey Flights. Now, they were supposed to join the AL all the way back when the league first started, but they were like, then they were like, nope, did not meet financial obligations and stuff like that. So, nope. So they went to the AAL and stuff like that. And they were just kind of there, punching bag for West Virginia. Um, so this is a solid addition. The other team that is quote-unquote rumored, but it's kind of up in the air. It seems like it's a no-go right now, and that is at, at Atlanta team, down where the NAL is located, headquartered at and who knows? Who knows? Um, want to you know? You want to try and even things out, but at the same time, who knows what the NAL is going to do? As far as the Champions Indoor Football League goes, hopefully this year they should be streaming games on YouTube because let me tell you, uh, Pluto TV was absolutely trash. And every time I try, every time I tried to watch a CIF game. Which was very few and far in between. Try to watch buffering, eh, buffering ads and stuff like that. It was horrible. Um, but they have added a team down in Odessa. Don't know what their name is going to be yet, but they're just called West Texas for right now. Um, and the indoor football league. Lastly, we'll talk about them. Uh, 
Uh, well, actually, we'll talk about more about the CIF first. Don't know if the CIF is going to add another team like Wichita Falls or something like that. It's already a team of Wichita, Kansas. But, you know, Wichita Falls could be a thing. Um, who knows? They're just rumors right now. We got a long way to the indoor football season. Um, and finally, the indoor football league. It's basically, you know, nothing, nothing's really came out of the water or anything like that. But I do believe that the Nebraska Danger are dead and they will not be moving to Dallas like as in, as originally intended, which really shouldn't be the plan anyway because Dallas is way too saturated. We have way too much stuff out here as far as sports goes. And adding another, the team just folded. So, you know, a team just folded out in Frisco, um, the Texas Revolution of the CIF. They just folded, so you can't really be adding teams out in the DFW area right now. We're too saturated. We have too much stuff going on. Um, so it's kind of at 11. You know, supposedly Spoke Band is coming back. They, they still don't know. Things aren't really confirmed yet. You know, there has there's been some announcements, but some things haven't been confirmed yet. So don't know what's gonna happen there. So it could be a 12 team IFL for 2019. We're 11, or somehow you know Nebraska's still there. Somehow it could be 13, but I doubt it. Again, I doubt it. But oh yeah, I should mention the arena football league. There's been literally nothing on that front. Nothing at all. Uh, so we don't know what's going to happen there with the AFL. There's still at six teams right now, six strong teams in the Northeast, Midwest. And there's been rumors flying around that Pittsburgh Power, um, the old team of the AFL, from when they first started back up, uh, that they're going to be revived. But I, I don't know yet. We don't know. We don't know where, we don't know what. So, but yeah, um, if your football is an exciting time, rosters are getting cleared up and stuff like that. They're getting opened up, freed up, ready to sign players and stuff like that. And of course, players have already gone to the XFL for the XFL draft and stuff like that. Um, don't, again, don't know if I've covered the XFL on the channel, but you know, did say I was going to try. And do something related to the XFL, but I don't know. It, it's kind of it's kind of early, you know. The XFL season starts till February, and who knows if I'm going to be watching it all. Um, I just watch you know the team that's in Dallas. I might just watch the the, you know, the team that's in Frisco their game. So who knows? That's going to do it. That's all I've got for the day. That's all I've got for the week, rather. Um, Upload schedules are just not as consistent as I thought they would be. So, you know, Tuesdays, Mondays, great for me. So, thank you for the two new subs that have come to this channel. You are more than welcome to participate, comment on my videos, and just, you know, keep, keep the conversation going. Um, you know, and course um, there's also other things that you could be doing there is a playlist on my channel if you haven't seen it yet which is my show the objective slant for um, Denton community television which also has a YouTube channel and is on frontier and, and charter spectrum um, those networks down there stuff like that I believe it's a network in Denton so you know it is what it is but that's gonna do it see y'all next week Thank y'all for watching. Bye-bye.